Hey, hey everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca. So, good morning. It is early morning on this Thursday. So, I am in the process of getting ready for work. Um, barefaced. <laughs> Looking kind of terrible this morning. Sorry. I hope y'all can stand to um, get through this part of the video. So today I'm starting my five day cleanse and reset by Dr. Kelly Ann. <clears throat> and I told you before that I would come on and film each part of the first day. And then um, what my plan is to come in mid midway so this is a five day so i'll come in midway and and just kind of tell you how i'm doing how it's going and then at the end i will do like a full review on how i felt and just about the whole thing so i'm a little nervous <laughs> I'm, I'm a little excited and i'm a little nervous it came a whole lot faster than i anticipated um but it's here and I'm going to do it. I am in my glasses because when I am working, I wear glasses. Um, I work in a computer all day and it's just more comfortable for my eyes. But right now I'll tell you, I cannot even, I, I haven't, I haven't woken up enough yet. I don't guess. <laughs> and so I can't really even see myself very well, but hopefully you can. All right. So we're just going to get in to this box. So, you know, it comes, I did the video before, but it comes like, whoops, it comes like this. There's five little boxes for five days, and everything I need is in a single box. So, we're just going to get started with the first thing, and, um, you know, from the previous video, if you haven't watched that, well, I would go back and check it out. There's a lot of good information in it, but for the day. Y'all, I, I think I need this really badly. I'm really struggling right now. I just feel like I'm having a hard time um, just kind of keeping it together. And I don't really understand what the problem is. But I'm, I'm just not, it, it's not jobbing. And so, I think it's time for a cleanse. And, you know, I, and I feel cleanses are very important. And if you don't do these, like, periodically, um, some people like to do them once a month. I think that's a bit much, but you know, at least quarterly, it's good to do that and just kind of reset your system. Because anyway, I'm going to try this one. We'll see how it goes. So you get three lemon sips, and I have a super, super chocolate smoothie in here. I have bone broth, super berry smoothie, and lemon chicken soup. So this is what I'm having for the day, all of this goodness. So all you have to do is add water and that's it. This is for five days. So y'all, I am just praying I can get through. I'm, I'm just so nervous about it, <laughs> but I'm very hopeful that I can get myself back together and, you know, kind of get back on track with my Optavia like I should be. I just feel like I'm all over the place with it right now and that's not a good place to be. Okay, so we're gonna start with lemon sip. And um, you just add water and I'm trying to say, I think it's six, you know, it's eight to 16 ounces of water. So I just have a bottle of water. Um, well, I just spilled that all over the place. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm gonna pour out just a little bit. This is a 16.9 bottle. So I'm just gonna pour out a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna mix this up and show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna try it on camera so y'all can get my reaction to it. This is one thing I'm a little worried about. It's um, because it's lemon. And if you watched the previous video, you know kind of have some bladder issues with citrus. And so I get, I guess they're like bladder spasms. I don't know, they, it just, it's painful um, if I have too much citrus. I did a juice detox 
one time. Um, I did part of a juicy cut. So I think it was supposed to be a three day. I did a day and a half. That's all I could do. Oh my gosh, I was in so much pain. I was like, I'm gonna have to go to the emergency room if I don't stop this thing. My stomach was hurting. My bladder was hurting. I mean, it was just, oh, it was bad. So I was like, this is not for me. Okay, that seems to mix really well. Um, I know some other drinks that I've mixed up don't mix so well, so that seems to actually mix up pretty well. So let's just try this. Okay. It does kind of taste like lemonade. It's a little tart, but not, not too much, you can tell. There is a little bit of, um, I know there's stevia in this. I read that on the packaging and I can taste that. Yeah, so I'm gonna try it. I mean, it takes a little while for me to tell. I'm hoping I can continue with this. If not, I may have to come up with an alternative. I would love to be able to do the lemon because, well, it's part of the program and um, I really wanna do this as is. So, we're gonna see how it goes. All right, guys, um, so that is step one for the day. Um, I will not film doing the lemon since I have three today, so I won't film that three times today um, or two more times today. I'm, I'll just film the rest of it. Just know that I'm doing those lemon sips in between some of these other, other things, other smoothies and things that I'm doing. So I will see y'all back in a little while and I'll be out of my pajamas. See you later. Hey everybody, okay, so I am about to mix up my super chocolate smoothie. This is the second thing for the day. So I have, it calls for 16 ounces of water. That's a lot, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And I put a little bit of ice in this too because I like ice. I just wanna make sure, yeah, it says 16 ounces. Um, that's what it says, wow be a big one. All right, got my little mix here. I'm just gonna put this in. I'm doing this real quick because I am taking a break from work for just a second to come in here. And I like to just kind of mix it up in this thing by hand before I put it on the Ninja. So, um, hang on. <laughs> I won't make you listen to this thing for the whole time. Okay. Let's see about this. Okay, here it is. It smells good. Yep. I don't like it. It's not as chocolatey as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's a little sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. I think it's got a little bit more stevia in it than I was anticipating for this, but yeah, I can drink this. This is good. All right, I'll see you um, later this morning and we will have bone broth, I think will be the next thing. So, see you in a bit. Hey y'all, welcome back. So it's lunchtime and I am going to make my, where is it? Ah, we're gonna have bone broth. So I do know what this tastes like because I use this all the time. So I've got eight ounces of water in my little cup here. I'm gonna put it in the microwave and then I'm gonna mix it up and show you what it looks like and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Okay y'all, so I've got some piping hot water here. This says eight to 12 ounces. I usually do around eight for this. So I'm gonna get this mixed up. Now, let me tell you, the first time I did this, I just used a spoon. I don't recommend that <laughs> at all. It does not mix very well just with a spoon. So I'm gonna show you what I use. Um, so I'm just gonna dump this in here. I put a little bit of Mrs. Dash in my cup just because, just for a little bit of seasoning. I can really go without it, but I want him to put it in. So I'm just gonna put in my cup here, in my cup of joy, I'm just gonna put this hot water. And then I'm gonna use my, it's a frother. Um, it's called a Milk Boss. 
yeah, this thing's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So it just really gets in there and mixes everything up. And I use this for like the hot chocolate that Octavia has. I use it for that too. I have to be careful so I don't over froth it and it doesn't, and it like spills out over my cup. <laughs> and it is kind of frothy. You can kind of see it there, yeah. Um, and sometimes I'll even put it back in the microwave for another, oh, 20 seconds or so. Usually froth it again and then just drink it. So it's super good. I'm so glad to have this right now. I was getting a little bit hungry. So far so good with my lemon sips. Um, I am afraid that as I go every day with this, that I may end up with maybe some ulcers on my tongue because of the acidity. Um, I'm trying to chase the drink when I drink the lemon sips with some water, just so I can, you know, but I haven't had any trouble with bladder so far. So I know I hadn't done, I've done two today so far. So um, I'm good as of right now. We'll see how it, um, how the day ends up and how tomorrow goes. But anyway, this is lunch. So I'm gonna have my lunch and I'll see you for the next little, um, I think we're having, a smoothie next. So I'll see you later. Hey y'all, welcome back. Okay, so now it's time for the super berry smoothie. So I've got 16 ounces of water and some ice. I'm gonna put it in my cup here for my little Nutribullet. And let's get into this. I'm ready for this smoothie. I'm getting a little hungry. It's been a pretty decent day so far. Day one, you know, it's all new and exciting. And so, anyhow. <laughs> that is a big smoothie, y'all. That's a whole lot in this thing. <sighs> okay, I will edit out all of this blending sound for you, okay? Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Hmm, it smells, um, I smell berry, but it smells kind of vitamin E too. So we'll see. I watched someone's review. And they said that it um, smelled, or that it tasted like a sherbet. So, Miles has decided to join me. There he is. <laughs> you can only see his tail. There's his head. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's not something I would gravitate towards. Like, this is not something I would go for. You know, if it wasn't in this kit, I don't think. It's pretty sweet. It reminds me of something and I just cannot think of it right now. I mean, it's not bad at all. I can drink this and it's got 15 grams of protein, 150 calories. So I'm hoping it will sustain me until my last meal. This is my next to last. I have one more and that's the soup. <sighs> that's one of the other ones that I'm really kind of concerned about. But anyway, so far so good. This is not bad. I can do this for five days, I think. So anyway, I'll see y'all for the last meal. Hey y'all, welcome back. So this is the last meal of the day. I've almost made it through day one of this five day journey and I'm ready to eat this and go to bed shortly. I'm trying to get to bed earlier than I have been. Um, I think that's another part of my problem <laughs> is that I'm not getting to bed early enough. So that is my plan. I'm pretty tired and I'm kind of ready to hit the hay. So 
Last thing is this lemon chicken soup. So what you do with this, 12 ounces of boiling water. So I've got 12 ounces in a cup here and I'm gonna put it in the microwave and I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so I've got my water here. I think what I'm gonna do is mix this up in this measuring cup. It's a pretty good size measuring cup. I've seen, uh, I've seen some reviews on this. This was definitely not a favorite. I'm a little nervous about it. I've mentioned before. Um, but I know one of the problems was that they, they said it didn't mix very well. But I have this Milk Boss thing over here that I used earlier. And I'm thinking that may make a difference. So I'm going to just mix this up in this measuring cup first before I put it in my bowl. All right. So I got my Milk Boss here and I'm just gonna mix it up. It smells a lot like the bone broth, but they had the bone broth too and said that their bone broth was okay. I mean, they didn't love it. It does, it is a little bit of an acquired taste. I smell some lemon in it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for just like 30 seconds. Let me mix it again with my frother. I just don't, I don't want any lumps or anything because that's going to just ruin it. I think this might actually help it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pour this into my bowl. It's a full ball of soup, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's give this a try. I didn't put anything in it as far as seasoning. I don't think it's bad. I think I can do that. And it's seasoned pretty decent too. I mean, you taste that lemon. I mean, it's different. But it tastes hearty. I don't know how to explain that. That sounds kind of weird. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Like, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. I feel like I'm going to get um, a feeling of fullness and, and, and be satisfied. That's what I'm feeling just with a couple of, of, um, of sips of it. So, anyway, we'll see, y'all. I'm super excited. So, um, day one's in the books after I get this down. And then we will just keep on going. Um, I'll be back on day three to report. It'll just be a sit down. I won't be mixing anything up or anything. You've already seen that. So, I'll just be talking to you for a few minutes. And then on, um, on day six is when I'll report like and review the whole thing. So, all right, guys, thanks for joining me tonight and I will see you in a couple of days. See you later. Hey y'all, welcome back. So today is the end of day three. Hello, my precious boy. Hello, you wanna come up here with mama? Hey y'all, welcome back. So today is the end of day three. And Miles and I are reporting. Um, <laughs> he decided to face that way instead of coming over here. So <laughs> I had to move pillows out of the way and all of that. But anyway, we are, um, I, I just wanted to report in and how everything is going with the detox. Because, you know, I had some concerns about the lemon products in this kit. And, um, I'm happy to report that everything is going great. I know you're gonna see that in the first part of this video where I go through the first day and I document every step as I go. And so I was a little concerned. Um, I think it was the second lemon sip I had had. I was kind of getting the feeling of some ulcers around like the edge of my tongue. Um, but thankfully, on day two, that subsided. Bye. 
that subsided and I've been fine ever since. I really think it was stress. I think I was anxious and stressed about it and I just um, worked myself up about the lemon. So anyway, it, it's actually worked out just fine. So the only, only problem that I've had thus far, and let's say this is the end of day three. So the only problem I've had is the end of day one, I had had the soup, the lemon chicken soup, and I kind of felt a little, um, I don't know, a little nauseated after it. And I, it just kind of felt heavy on my stomach it's got more calories than anything else in the entire box for the day. It's also got more fat, which, you know, you need the fat, the healthy fat for the day to sustain. I, I knew I needed the product and I, I was so hopeful that I wasn't going to be sick because I was, I was a bit nauseated. Um, I took a little something for reflux because I do have reflux and just in hoping that that would, I wouldn't have problems with reflux with this soup. And um, it, it kind of settled my stomach and I hadn't had any trouble since. I didn't get sick. I, I did just fine. I took it and shortly thereafter I went to bed and you know, it's been fine. I haven't really felt hungry. So far, um, there was a time or two that I, I was feeling a little bit hungry, but it was time to do something else. So it was either time for a smoothie or time for a lemon sip or something of that effect. Um, I, I can't really think of any other issues that I've had. I can tell you that the first day, um, well, there are, there are a couple things. So the first day I, I did notice that the inflammation was just leaving my body. I mean, it, it was just like falling off of me. I could feel the fluid coming off. I mean, it was amazing. I was like, man, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> so that was, you know, that was great. Now today I have had, this is day three, I have had a little bit of a headache and I don't know if it's from the detox or if I'm just having a bit of a headache. It's not like debilitating. It's not like a migraine or anything of that sort. It, it's just kind of a nagging. It's been like a little bit of a nagging headache. Uh, I took something earlier for that um, and it seems to, it's better right now, but I have had a problem with that, but it's not, I don't, I don't, I haven't felt really hungry. I, I just kind of wanted to report in and let you know that I'm on track. I, I'm doing everything as directed. I have not missed a beat. Um, I haven't had any issues with feeling deprived or um, or anything like that. It's actually, it's been pretty good. Uh, surprisingly well, actually. I, I'm thrilled that it's it's gone as well as it has. I've been very pleased with it. And we, I, I will get back in a couple of days and we'll do a full review on everything. Let you know how it went. Let you know about um, weight loss and you know how I'm feeling right now I feel fine I don't feel tired I don't actually I feel pretty energetic considering you know um and so yeah it, it's been a good thing I hope that helps and like I said I'll see y'all in a couple of days and do the full review on the rest of it all right guys I'll see you later bye bye Hey y'all, so I wanted to come on real quick and talk to y'all about, here comes Miles, as soon as I start talking. Say hello everybody, hello, yeah. So um, I wanted to come on and just tell y'all how things have gone with uh, Dr. Kellyanne's five day detox and reset. So in the first part of this video, you're seeing me um, go through the first day and then on day three, I come on and just talk to you about how I'm feeling and, and all that stuff. So this is day six and I'm finished with the detox. I'm back on Optavia today. And 
Um, so I'm just going to kind of sum it up for you. So, you know, would I do it again? Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought it was a great detox. It's one of the best detoxes I've ever done. I did not have, um, I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, detox, you're going to be in the bathroom the whole time. You have to stay at home and, you know, can't go anywhere because you just run back and forth to the bathroom. That is not the way this one works. Um, the first day I did, I mean, th there was so much inflammation in my body. My Optavia had just gone sideways. So I had more inflammation in my body than I would have normally had. So I was just, water weight was just coming off of me. And so I, the first day was, was basically just that. Of course, I was drinking um, more water and plus I was drinking all day too because everything is a shake or a smoothie or a bone broth. I mean, it's all liquid. So, you know, it, it was, uh, the first day was just, you know, it was fun. I didn't have any trouble with it, but it, you know, just trying to get that, the water off of you, the inflammation off of you was mainly just, you know, the issue on the first day. Um, I, I did mention that I had a little bit of, um, of an upset stomach, just kind of a, a nauseated feeling after I had the soup the first night. And, um, after that, I never had any more trouble out of it. I really, I got to where I liked the soup pretty well. Um, it was very hearty. It was the most hearty of all of them. Never really got hungry. Um, if I ever started feeling a little bit hungry, I it was time for something else. And the lemon sips, y'all, the lemon sips are amazing. In fact, I ordered those on day two. I went ahead and got on the website and ordered some on day two just because they were working so well for me. Um, they really kind of helped curb my appetite. And I was so excited about that. And the fact that I could actually drink that was amazing because, you know, I told you I've had issues with my bladder and citrus is real hard on me, but that was fine. I had no trouble with that at all. In fact, I think I, cause with the, in the box, cause you get five of these little boxes, um, that come in it a day and there's three lemon sips in it. And, uh, but you know, I think that I could probably do one lemon sip a day and I could just mix it up and drink a little bit here and there as I need it to help curb appetite if I start having that problem. I don't know, that's my plan. That's why I bought it, because I thought, oh my gosh. I mean, I just felt so much better after I drank it. <laughs> it's just kind of like, you know, whatever uh, craving or, or anything I had. And like I said, I didn't really get hungry, but I did sometimes in between, you know, the the shakes and the smoothies and stuff you could i was kind of getting a little bit hungry there but not enough to be like oh my gosh i want to chew my leg off you know i just kind of needed something and those lemon sips were that's the ticket right there so i went ahead and ordered me some and i want them to come in quickly because i don't have any more i've i've drank them all <laughs> i'm done <laughs> so the big box um as you remember it comes in the big box like this this is the five day now, um, would I do a five day again? Yes, but probably not for a long time. Um, I just don't think that you have to do a complete five day to get the benefit of it. I think five days is great if you can do it. Um, the last day yesterday was I was, I was ready to be done. <laughs> I was really ready to be done, but at the same time, I was kind of sad because I was like, this is going so well, and I felt good. I felt good the entire time, except for the first night when I was a little nauseated, but um, yeah, I had energy, and um, I, I just, you know, I felt really good. I didn't have all that inflammation on my body. My hands didn't hurt. I think I have a little bit of arthritis in my joints and my hands, and so... Sometimes I can tell and that they kind of ache a little bit. I, that's gone. I mean, oh my gosh, it's just been so amazing. So yes, I will absolutely do this again. I will probably do the three day instead of the five day. Um, but you know, that five day would be good to do a couple of times a year maybe or something. I don't know. It's just 
you know, thinking out loud. But yeah, I'll definitely be doing this again. So how did it go? Like, you know, weight wise, well, y'all, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Drum roll, please. That's right, 8.2 pounds. Oh my gosh, I never in a million years would have thought that I'd have lost eight pounds in five days. But it worked, it was great, and I felt good, and I feel, I, I love a, a good cleanse. I love a good reset, and so I feel ready more than ever to jump back on this Optavia train and and get started. You know, eight pounds gone from this detox. <laughs> now, I mean, I don't know what typical is, but I don't think eight pounds is typical. I did have um, quite a bit of water weight, I think, because like I said, I did kind of get sidetracked on Optavia, so I know I had some inflammation in my body that I wouldn't normally have. So, you know, typically I probably wouldn't have lost that, but you know, I, I'm just thrilled. I'm just thrilled to death. I think it's a great detox, and I've got a link below if you want to try it out. Um, it'll save you 15%. And I mean, I, I think that's on anything. So even if you just want to get some lemon sips, you can give those a shot. Those are, are really, really good. I highly suggest those. But she's got tons of stuff on the website. Lots of, you know, there's bone broth and there's all types of different collagen and, you know, shakes and, and that type of thing. So, you know, check it out, see what you think. And then if you decide to do a detox, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear how you're doing. If you have any questions about it or, you know, just kind of need a little support, I'm always right here for you. I'll be glad to do what I can. But anyway, that's it for the detox. I think it was, um, it was a great success and I am just so excited about it. So anyway, y'all, okay, I will let y'all go for tonight. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>